Hello, I am uh, going to show you how to get into your utilities folder on the Mac. Okay, and uh, in this utilities folder, there is uh, you can uh, open up Network Utility, which will open up uh, show you your IP, and open up uh, Activity Monitor, which shows you memory usage. Uh, you can open up uh, Keychain, which I believe saves uh, passwords for your different. Uh, websites and whatnot, and uh, terminal and console. And terminal is like the Windows equivalent to a uh, command prompt. Okay, so first you need Finder open. You can either have it in this box like I do, or you can just do it on the desktop. I'm gonna do it on the desktop, and then you hold Command Shift U, and then this opens your utility folder. And in here, you can see I have Activity Monitor. I have a bunch of stuff: Console, Keychain, Network Utility, Terminal, Voiceover. Okay, so we're gonna go to Activity Monitor, and we are going to double-click that. Let's just click down here. Okay, and it shows everything that is running, how much memory it's using, and the screen you, if you've never messed with this, you should start out, I believe, on this CPU at the bottom in my processes here, but I don't trust myself dealing with all these different things, so I just keep it in Windows, which is like pretty much just your programs, not like processes that run built-in things. So, uh, down here is CPU, system memory, disk activity, disk usage, network. I'm not, I'm just going to focus on the two things I know. Disk usage is pretty much like if you download, like, a game, or you say you download Photoshop, and it takes up, uh, three gigabytes, sure. Then, uh, this just shows you your free space, and if you download three gigabytes, that'll go down three gigabytes, down from my 23 to 20 and then system memory shows you your active memory and uh... this is the pie chart showing it don't know what these really mean and then used and usually i do not have my used up this high but recently i have and free memory is like if you wanna run like a server or something like that for some game then uh... you need to focus on that so um... here are your processes this is pretty much just uh, like the task manager, I think it's called, for uh, Windows, but Mac equivalent. And uh, as you can see, I can quit process, inspect, and then I'll show you all these, what ports it's using, stuff like that. And if you see something that you're not using and you're not going to use, I suggest you just closing it out and your computer will run faster. Because a lot of times, if you just close something out, like down here, and physically just press the X button, the process will still be running, and it will still be chomping on your uh, memory. And we do not want that, do we? So, uh, a thing about Firefox and Safari and stuff like that, Opera or Oprah, people say it different ways, but uh, the longer it's up, the uh, more memory it takes. I, I don't know the reasoning behind this, but that's just how it is. Like, I've had it up for, I'll say, a week before, probably. Maybe longer, and it was starting to use, like, 900 megabytes of uh, memory. So, that's why it's good to sometimes just restart your browser and stuff like that. And, uh, at the beginning, it's probably used about 60 megabytes. So yeah, and then iMovie, I have a bunch of those open in the bottom right corner, if you guys can see it, with a video I've uploaded recently, I just haven't exited it out, but, uh, let's see, um, I don't need activity monitor, see, and we're not going to be able to look at this, but I'm going to close it out, and this free memory should jump about 18, 19, uh, megabytes, quick process, uh, quit. And it's out. Thank you guys. This has been a tutorial about how to uh, get into your utilities folder and look at uh, your memory usage, stuff like that. Bye.